All right, I started taking pictures of everything and then I realized it was going to be an entire photo essay of my Instant Pot accessories and nobody's got time for that. Anyhow, so really, really quick, my this is my kitten caboodle here. I took a picture, an overview. Uh, isn't that a gorgeous acorn squash? My friend grew it in her garden. Anyhow, um, I digress. And I'm sorry, my kitchen is very vintage. I <laughs> just put it there. So that's why you don't get like any big panning shots or anything. So first accessory that I cannot live without for my Instant Pot is this doodad. I got it on Amazon. I think either Amazon or AliExpress, more than likely Amazon. Um, it was it was a pack of two, um, and it's a weirdo gadgety thing like this, and you use it to grab the pot when it's hot inside. So you just sort of put it on the side like this, and pick up the pot, and it's like sturdy enough, like you can see, I'm like throwing this everywhere, right? Um, I also used it to pick stuff up from inside the pot, so if I've got if I'm using the pot in pot method, so I've got this little wee pot here that I often use for quinoa or oatmeal or whatever, then I just take this and I go inside and I pick it up like this. So no little fingers get burnt. Fun times. Um, so this is this 100% highly recommend. Uh, you might be able to find it at some little, those little, I call them junk shops. Those little, I don't know. Anyhow, I got it on Amazon or AliExpress. It comes from China, so it takes forever to get here um, but you might be able to find it in like those little housewary kind of shops um, a lot of Asian people use them for like pots right obviously um, my second favorite buy that I got was the higher sort of trivet it's not too much higher than the original one so this is the original one and then this is a higher one well I guess it is much higher um, what I do use that for is when I'm doing multiple things at once because I bought the Instant Pot to be uh, more, like, add a little bit more time to my life. Uh, so I cook everything all at once. And by that I mean in the bottom, I usually put uh, chicken broth and thawed chicken breasts although I love this for frozen chicken breasts but that's another story for another day um then I put the trivet on top of the chicken breast come sa um if I'm making quinoa that day I will use my little bowl and I put the bowl on top here um how do I do this oh my goodness why am I gassing on this it's been a minute since I've done all three. So I put this on maybe. Yeah, okay. I put this on, which I haven't introduced yet. I'll talk about that in a second. And then the bowl. No, that's not even working. You know what? Maybe I do use the original one. It's been a while since I've made quinoa because I'm on a program right now that isn't necessarily calling for quinoa every day. So maybe I do smoosh that in there. And then put the bowl in. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm sorry, I use the original trivet. And I'll do the quinoa. I put a layer of foil on top. Uh, and then I put this little egg holder. Or I just kind of put the eggs on top. Whatever, it works. Um, and that's for stacking for meal prep. So you just cook it once. You just have your Instant Pot going for 8 minutes. And it cooks everything in the pot. So chicken breast... Uh, boiled eggs and um, quinoa if you're doing meal prep that way uh, so this little doodad I bought because I was so excited to try these egg bites that everybody said were amazing I tried two different recipes I didn't like either one of them uh, so I'm not exactly sure if I even need to keep this um, when I do boiled eggs in it uh, they come out a little bit more sort of medium hard boiled even if I do them for eight minutes uh, and I'm wondering if it's because half of them is in the silicone so they're a little bit more protected I don't know doesn't matter I like them it works whatever um, I also have the spring form pan which everybody went cuckoo for the cheesecake recipe I never made cheesecake in my instant pot not even one time um, I've used this for other things I put uh, like I build the foil bowl 
inside so it doesn't leak. And I've used this to cook more like quinoa or rice because uh, it's flatter so it fits a little bit better, especially when you're doing pot and pot and you do the stack method. Um, which I can't take credit for because I stole it from another website. Um, I did end up buying the steaming basket. I don't really like steamed vegetables that much. Um, but it's useful. I'm trying to remember. I used this for something and I was like, wow, I did that. That worked really well. This is a couple months ago. I don't remember. Um, but I, you can also flip it upside down and use it as a stand as well. So cook something inside like chicken or whatever, and then use this instead of this taller stand if you don't have it. Um, that works really well. Um, oh my God, it's really bugging me what I use this for. And I was like, wow, I can't believe that worked. Anyhow, I don't know. I've been a little bit experimental when I use my Instant Pot. Another thing that I absolutely love that I bought, um, it was a little bit spendy. I think I bought it at the Paderno outlet store. It's for turkeys. I don't know who's buying turkeys that are this little, but it's not me. Anyhow, um, like if you could get a chicken on there, that would make sense, but whatever. I don't cook, well, I've cooked whole chickens in here. Um, I didn't use this at the time though. I probably should have. Um, I've cooked whole hams in here. Um, it's just for when you're making a big thing and then you just you literally, it's instead of making that little, I don't know, what do they call it? The hammock thing out of the tinfoil. I don't like wasting those types of things like tinfoil and stuff like that. So I'd rather have something that's reusable. Um, so this just literally, you just pull this out. If there's food on it, it works better. <laughs> it has little feet so it's not touching the bottom. Oh, I guess I should show you that. Like, and Sorry, this is like hard water stains. Um has little feet so it's not necessarily touching the bottom works really 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 well I love this thing goes in the dishwasher and everything um, another thing that I bought uh, that I've used a few times again I'm not a big steamed vegetable person but if I'm making something that requires cooked vegetables or whatever this has been great um, I've also lined it with foil again when I'm cooking multiple things so that you know it doesn't leak out but like for things like rice and whatever else so you can see like the shape of it's really sort of a unique shape I got these at Ikea now the thing with these is you'll see here they came with like a little hook because they're the intention of them is that you hook them on the side of the pot like a big like stew pot um, that you're doing stove, co stove top cooking on. I tried to like just condense that whole phrase into one word. Um, and then it sits there and then you have the rest of the pot sort of to cook in. Um, again, I sold this off of a website. So I removed the hooky things, which was not an easy task by any stretch of the word. And I put them in. So I can have one in here. And again, I could cook like vegetables in here and then chicken here. I have put eggs in here and other stuff in the other side of the pot. Um, it all depends on what you're cooking. But what I like about this is like you could literally, and I'm doing this one-handed, so sorry, it's a little, not the best. Feel me. You can stuff all three in there. And I like it because then you could cook three separate things. Mind you, like the flavors and stuff are gonna gel because it's one pot, but you could still cook three separate things, but they're separated, like they stay separate. Um, again, you can line uh, this with uh, tin foil. If you want to cook something like rice or pasta or, or something like that, keep it separate from vegetables, um, proteins, whatever you're cooking in here. Um, I've even done it where I, like, I've cooked a couple different grains um, at one time. Uh, again, saves time, right? Um, and energy too, because you're only using your Instant Pot once, so it makes no sense. It takes way longer if you're just going to cook 15 things that like in succession, you might as well just put them all in the pot. What I liked about this was they're sold separately. So you don't have to buy three of them. You can just buy one. Um, and they each come with these little hooky things, right? Which are tremendously handy. So again, not burning your little fingers. So that's that. Um, this little teeny tiny bowl, it's really like, it's short, right? So it has to be like the same height as the what do you call it? The springform pen, uh, especially if you're doing stacking. Um, I've seen the Tiffin dishes at Asian markets. It's hard to find the right diameter and the right height. I've seen them. There's a beautiful Asian market in Toronto in Spadina 
Uh, and when it, it, oh, they've got amazing things there. Um, they didn't just have the diameter that I was looking for at the time. Um, TNT Supermarket is opening in Kitchener very, very shortly. I'm so excited. And sometimes they've got some really good kitchen um, item selections. So keep an eye out there. Um, oh, I'm sorry. And this little stand, did I say I got this on Amazon? I got it on Amazon. But wait till it's on sale because it can be like $20 and don't pay $20 for this. Especially if you've already got something like this for your Instant Pot, just turn it over and use it that way. Or even a bowl. I'm not sure how well a bowl will work. I've seen people use uh, like an inverted bowl. Like, and it's being like specifically about those Indian ladies because they are masters at this Instant Pot stuff. Um, I just get worried because it's a pressure cooker and I don't know what happens like if you've got I'm not a science kid. I'm just, I'm not sure what would happen if you did that. I like this because it vents out. So if there's any issues, like there's, it's not going to create a vacuum or anything. I don't know what I'm worried about creating another dimension with my Instant Pot or something. Anyhow, um, and of course there's the ubiquitous, um, didn't even say that word properly. Whatever, I'm not going to try again. Uh, mason jar, which um, I used to use a lot to cook um, oatmeal in. Uh, I do use the pot, like a little bowl now to cook my oatmeal in. Um, I don't know, I feel like for whatever reason it would come out the top when I use the mason jar. But you can use mason jars for tons of stuff and if you've got the, like, the shorter ones, um, this is what you need to make, the delicious uh, dolce de leche. Uh, so yeah, I mean, use stuff that you've already got around your house because um, it can get expensive from what I saw online. Of course, everything's cheaper from the States. Um, oh, I also bought, I didn't take it out, the Instant Pot, the glass lid when you do slow cooking. I've never once used my Instant Pot for slow cooking. Not even one time. Um, I've used the lid like once, I think, to cover a recipe. That's it. So I don't highly recommend buying like that special Instant Pot glass lid. Uh, I don't use it. Like I, I don't know many people who actually have used it. You can find lids that fit uh, the Instant Pot, they're probably a lot more affordable. I've heard that Ikea sells those, like the generic lids, uh, and that they work as well. Um, so that's it. I hope this helps. This was a really long video. You got to see my extremely messy kitchen. Um, I yanked out all my Instant Pot goodies, uh, and that's it. So I hope that helps. I'm going to make myself some chicken for a recipe for later, um, and have a great day. Okay, bye.